Hey everyone. So in this episode, well, like I think we've all seen the new patch notes and it is <laughs> everybody's talking about it. And uh, when I first read it, I already read them. Um, well, I already read through them, so I, I kind of know everything that's happening. This isn't a live reaction, more of a discussion because I want to talk more about, I guess, my thoughts on all of this before I get into what I think about each of the each of the character changes. But I I do I don't know. I took some time before making this video instead of making it yesterday because I wanted to play it first to kind of see what what the devs kind of saw in it because we were all kind of wrong about the uh, was it the changes they did to let's say give everybody a healing passive. So I was like, surely there must be a reason for these these crazy crazy changes, and uh, I played I played last night. And um, I think I may I may need some more testing, but it didn't feel as bad as I as I thought it was gonna feel. But again, I just played like maybe five games to kind of see, because I, I really didn't want to make a video dogpiling and just kind of having a really bad reaction to everything. Because again, the devs are people, right? We got to remember that. And yeah, so I I want to start off with like the good, the good about this, what I think this patch means for, I guess, me and the overall, you know, Overwatch gaming community. I think the good news about this patch is that it means 6v6 is coming. <laughs> I think, I think this is, this feels like some kind of weird Hail Mary, like, play right before we get what we want. Because I know we've we've all said that we like these big aggressive changes, you know, when they're trying to kind of shake things up and kind of trying to see where they're trying to go. But with this, I don't, I really don't know where they were trying to go with it, right? I don't know what they were trying to solve, right? Like the big changes were the Samra hacked thing, about two was it when you for the push thing? Yeah, I think the the tug of war one with the robot. At least you knew that they're trying to figure out like why everybody kind of didn't like this map as much and we saw a lot of things there was a lot of information that came out of that like people liked being able to spawn back immediately right uh, we even think it brought down some of the toxicity because they didn't have time just lingering waiting to come back to life you just kind of came back immediately the other good thing from it is uh on some maps the the speed increase of the of the robot moving was was good but for this i have i don't know what they were trying to do like it seems like they're trying to push more into the whole moba thing where the tank is a raid boss and i don't think anybody wants that like at all i think the bigger problem with this and what frustrates me a lot is that this I don't know if it means that they're not listening or it's on purpose, but it definitely doesn't look like they know what to do and like what to do with the 5v5 format. Because I think I don't think anybody was saying that tanks needed a buff, right? It was kind of the opposite, right? I think tanks, they survived. They're already pretty decent at surviving. I didn't think I was dying that much. It's more of, I guess... The, my main issues with playing tank was the gameplay loop sucked like it still sucks like it, it sucks so bad i hate having to switch all the time like and i guess i'll, I'll go through these so yes yeah, the gameplay loop the fact that i can't play what i want to play and that there's so much pressure so it's it's not it's not like I feel like I'm dying too fast or like I feel like I'm not doing enough damage because I personally I don't think tanks should be doing that much damage I think that should be reserved for DPS I think we should be focusing on you know making space and I also think support should be focusing on supporting the team instead of you know doing as much damage as DPS um, but that's just me but it's like I hate switching like I hate having to switch all the time I hate every time I see a Mauga I can't play Doomfist I hate that you know, Orisa just stops me from playing the game. I hate, you know, like Hog exists. <laughs> like, well, Hog uh, uh, is more manageable now. But, like, the problem, the counter switching sucks. It really sucks. And I, I am a, t I love playing tank in every game I play. So I know they said that, you know, people generally don't like to play tank. Well, I, I like playing tank in every game I play. Even when I would play StarCraft, I play very defensively. I like to turtle up and everything. But, like, this sucks. This sucks. I can't play the characters I want to play, right? In DPS, I could go Tracer and Echo, like, 
every game if I want to. I could do soldier. Like it doesn't it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, I could play what I want and it's fun. Uh, same with support. Rather I play Mercy, who's you know she's not that great or like that meta or whatever, but she still works, right? I don't think people are generally mad when they have a, like a Mercy on their team. But then Kiriko's there, you know. Uh, uh, Iari's like really fun. Everybody, you can play anybody you want. And it doesn't, you know, piss off your team like that when, you, when you're a DPS player. But then you play tank, and then if you die, you can just feel that, one, you know your team's going to lose the fight. Well, most likely, like 80% chance your team's going to just lose the fight. Two, you could feel that everybody's just like, oh, the tank died, oh, tank did. Like, it's just, it's just such a shitty feeling. Like, it's, it's, uh, gosh, it's like the combination of the three, I think last time. I made a video talking about playing Sigma into Malga, and uh, I, so the more I think about it, the more I don't want to go through all the changes because I don't want to read through it. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. If, if I feel like doing it, I might make another video, but I just kind of want to talk about it. But I, I remember, like, I'm playing Sigma, you know, I'm hitting all my balls, hitting all my shots and things like that, but nobody's really dying, so I'm making the space, but I'm so reliant on my team to, like, get something done. And you know, I'm trying to talk in the mic. Nobody's really talking in the mic, and you know, it's it's quick play generally. So you know, I don't care that much. But it's it's like okay, I'm I'm staying alive. Like I wasn't having a problem staying alive. It was just you know, like what what do I do during that time, <laughs> right? What do I do during the time that I'm alive? And yeah, you know, I could make space, but this is me against this tank, and now it's you know Godzilla versus King Kong every single time with this new patch. It's it's not it's not the way it's not the way to go, Blizzard. And the way they buffed tanks, it takes away from the fun of everybody else. Because a lot of let's say support characters is like there's no there's no point of fighting a tank, right? If the tank if it's a tank and you you're just gonna lose. Well, in Overwatch one, you could a tank could regularly take. I mean, a DPS could reg regularly take down a tank, and you know you had the chance, but. You know, now we're taking things away from, like, let's say, Anna's sleep dart effectiveness, and you know, just the, the idea of having a raid boss every time makes it less of a shooter, more of a MOBA. I don't really know if that's a bad thing. I don't know, but I don't like the idea of a raid boss. I don't like every fight you have this one character that just kind of determines the whole thing, and does he really determine the whole thing because he can't do much without his team? It's it's. Ugh. Because even with all the changes they did here, on top of that, they buff armor, which is the armor buff is, in my opinion, I think that's huge. There's it makes it like increases the amount of half damage. Um, yeah, how much damage you can have by like a lot, and I don't want to get into the math of it, but it, it, I think I think the the armor buff is really big. On top of that, though, on top of that. Is the reduced DPS passive right? So now you know their the amount of HP they they heal isn't reduced as much, and that is crazy. That is so crazy. That could have probably been the only change they made to the game, well, to the tanks, and they would have survived more, which is what I think they were trying to do here. But again, it was, surviving wasn't that much of a problem. Like they buffed, uh, what's what's that guy's name? Hammond. Well, Hammond was already kind of impossible to kill, <laughs> right? They have the power creep happening in Orissa with her 4 to 5 going from 3.5 to 4. And I know they gave her other buffs, like, recently. You have Mauga. You have Mauga now having 100% heal. Uh, like, that's... <laughs> like, and, and his stomp going from 60 to 75. I think that's, that's pretty big, in my opinion. But, like, if Mauga's going to be fighting a hog or, like, a Doomfist or... Um, maybe not Junker Queen because she's so small. But if if he fights that and then he goes, ah, and then starts healing, he's just going to be full health. He's just immediately going to jump to being full health. Which is just going to make the whole counter picking thing even worse. And, you know, there's things like Reinhardt and Winston and Sigma who got their buffs. I don't really mind those that much. Well, I do mind it because they're going to be really powerful. Like, you can't, you won't be able to kill Winston anymore when he's in his primal rage. But, I like playing against those characters, right? I, I like I like the interaction between those guys. But the interactions between Mauga and Roadhog, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so it sucks so bad. It sucks so bad. The Doomfist buffs wasn't needed. 
I'll take it. I didn't have much problem surviving as a Doomfist anyways. So, you know, whatever. But it's just, it really shows that... Was it, was, are they going to make like a... I think I heard they're going to make like a developer comment on their thoughts on 5v5 and 6v6. Uh, so m hopefully that comes out soon. I want to know what they're thinking because this isn't it. They are, they are being so stubborn and just kind of... Like I said at the beginning of this video, I think this is like a Hail Mary before we get a... Hey guys, we're going to do a 6v6 option. Like I, I think... I feel like it's coming because this one is is so wild and so out of nowhere that i think uh i think something good's coming <laughs> i hope so anyways um that's it for this video don't forget to leave a comment for the algorithm like and subscribe and don't forget i love you